Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. So what are we doing guys? We are going to attempt to make a modified chili relleno. That's right. All right, so how are we going to accomplish this guys? Well, I made my fat head pizza dough. I split it in half and then the one half I split into three ways. Now what I did was I took a poblano pepper, I cut it in half. I uh, got rid of the seeds and most of the ribbing. I love the spice, but I need to make room for some meat. So what are we doing, guys? We're going to go ahead and load this up, just like we did in a previous recipe, with meat and with cheese, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it in this. So let's get started. All right, so here is our poblano pepper. Now what I did was I took some of my pulled pork and spiced it up however you want. I went ahead and took this Herde Salsa Verde and used that to spice it up, flavor it up. If you have leftover taco meat, use that. Whatever you've got, guys, leftover rotisserie chicken, whatever you have. Leftover egg casserole, that would work too. Anything that you've got in the house, repurpose it, guys. Don't let it go to waste. Okay, then we're gonna load it with just a little bit of cheese. And then wrap this puppy up. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Let's see how this works. Now I have purchased these round uh, parchment papers from Amazon. I'll have a link in the description in case you're interested in these as well. They come in various sizes. Got this one so I could use it specifically in my air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the parchment and off to the air fryer we go. All right, so there it is in the air fryer. I've got it set at 320 for about 12 minutes. We'll see what happens. Be back in a minute. All right, here we are guys, parchment paper and all. Check it out, check it out, check it out. All right guys, let's separate it from the parchment paper, see if it cooked all the way through, if we need to flip it a little bit. Let's see how the underside looks. Oh, pretty good, not bad. About two minutes and it should be done. And two minutes later, here we go. It's complete, guys, check it out. Ooh, look at that cheesiness coming out of it. Looks yummy to me. Add some sour cream, add some avocado, and baby, you are set. All right, see you in a minute. Guys, here we are, check it out. Is this something you would eat for dinner? Oh my goodness. So it's fathead pizza dough. If you've never seen the recipe for that, check in the upper right-hand corner, shows you how to make it. So we took a poblana pepper, stuffed it with whatever meat you have. Even if you have some leftover breakfast quiche, stuff it in there. Put some cheese. Wrap it around your fathead dough and you topped it with some avocado salsa. Also a little bit of sour cream and some cayenne pepper. This would be great with my garlic aioli. Uh, I will leave a link to that recipe as well in the upper right hand corner right now. Check it out. All right guys, hope you enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy this. Have a blessed day, bye bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. You kissed my teeth. <laughs>